So welcome to our CEO series. Um, I have today Court Campbell, CEO from Logly with Howdy. us. How are Hello. You? How are you? I'm great. So um, can you tell us a little bit more about Logly, what you're doing, the value that you're bringing to customers and kind of get us a little bit in, inter in introduction? Sure, I'd love to. So, well, thanks for coming by today. Sure. It's good to see you again. I, um, Always, I'm happy to talk at length about Logly. <laughs> so, uh, as you can kind of imagine, so Logly logs. We're a logging company, so we're a log management company. Mm -hmm. But we're uh, SaaS based, so we're based in the cloud. Mm -hmm. So our service is actually right now based on Amazon AWS. All our servers run up there, okay. and uh, you can kind of imagine what we are as a big search engine, a big time series search engine for log files. People send us their log files. We take them, uh, we provide a centralized location where people can send those logs, and um, then we take those logs and we actually put them in a very large, scalable search engine. Yeah, okay. And make those logs searchable, and then we provide a full set of uh, RESTful APIs and OAuth indicate OAuth on top of those Yeah. so that you can build applications. So in a way, even though the base service that we provide is log file search, central storage and search, we're actually building a log management platform on top of which people can build applications around logging, which covers, you know, 20 different markets. Security, okay. compliance, web analytics, troubleshooting. Okay, excellent. And um, you guys are originally been working at Splunk, right? We, we are ex-Splunkers. Ex-Splunkers. Yeah. And obviously the, the question derives a little bit out of that. So. Um, uh, coming from Splunk, kind of what what were the intentions, and uh, I think you're one of the founders as well um, of Logly. Of Logly. Um, yeah. um, what were the thoughts? What's what's different at Logly that uh, Splunk doesn't have? So one of the things I worked on over at Splunk was working with application developers. <clears throat> so the idea with when when we founded Logly was to make it a service instead of you know ArcSight has an appliance. Splunk has a software download. Both of those you run in your own data center on-prem, or in the case of Splunk, you can run in the cloud. With Logly, we made a SaaS service, so we run the software for you. So all the advantages of SaaS come with that. But then we also needed to have that application layer for the different types of use cases that people were going to solve, right? So logs, for example, in security in the security space, require a, an application, a security application that tells you what's going on inside your company what's going on inside of your servers as related to security. So if somebody's breaking in, what do those what do those threats look like inside your log files? Well, when we built those at Splunk, that was built inside the Splunk framework. The Splunk has an application framework, which is actually quite nice. And I worked with developers to build those apps, but whenever I did Logly and we're building a SaaS service, there's no need to build an, a, a custom application framework. You're already running inside an application framework. It's called the web, right? So there are all these web technologies, so just adopt those standardized web technologies as your own, and the applications will follow because people know how to build web apps. It's, mm. it's, it's, a known, it's a known problem, right? So the idea was just provide some RESTful APIs and provide OAuth, and, and just like Twitter does, they have, Twitter has their own authentic, authentication scheme, but just like Twitter does, you know, provide a nice set of APIs that people can build apps against, and they're gonna come and build this. Uh, so is the the, the cloud, the SaaS aspect, would you consider that one of your the key differentiators towards Splunk? Or what are the other um, elements that you say you really are different from, from that Splunk is one and of, other competitors, yeah, obviously? That is one of them, the way that we approach letting you build applications with us. Yeah. We don't, you know, require, we're, we're, you can almost, again, I use the Twitter Salesforce analogy all the yeah. time. We're the place that you send all your logs, and then once they come in here, then you can use applications and build applications around those with us quite easily. Uh, the, another way that we differentiate ourselves is that we, because we had to build Logly for the cloud and for scale, is that the thing that we run uh, in the cloud is actually highly scalable. So other, other, other solutions in the logging space are certainly scalable. I mean, there are customers that do of other uh, competitors of Logly's, and there are a lot of them besides Splunk, that do terabytes and terabytes a day. But in aggregate, Logly's s solution was built to scale to petabytes. So the technology that we built is, is 
highly scalable. So the underlying technology, we took it to the next level. Okay. So there are bits and pieces of what we do that um, is, is completely unique to us. There are also things that other, other people do, uh, arc sites, connectors, uh, Splunk's pipeline processing engine, that are, are something that we don't do. We chose to take a, a simpler route in some, in some ways. But we see those as application uh, specific problems to solve. So we, we'll either build those ourselves as apps, like our alerting app that we're going to announce, or uh, a partner will come along and build that. Okay. I mean, it's a lot about big data, right? I mean, or Logly, Splunk, the, the whole industry is about big data. Big time series data, or what I call big data. Big time data. Big time data, exactly. Yeah. So can you describe what your approach is to tackle the problems or the challenges that come through big data? How are you approaching this problem? How we approach it ourselves? Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, it, it you know, at, over time, as things progress, as more SaaS services have, have started up, I mean, you're seeing an explosion of data. It's gone from talking about, you know, megabytes to gigabytes to uh, terabytes to petabytes to what's what's next, exabytes, yeah. right? And so, um, I mean, really, the amount of data being generated worldwide today is just staggering, and it's just increasing at an accelerated rate. And all of that data is being accessed by people, and logs are being generated off of it. So as the amount of data is increased, the, the, n the number of logs are increasing. And it's be becoming untenable for people to manage those themselves. They really can't do it. So, I mean, again, going back to the technology that we built, we built this search engine like what Google has gone off and done with search for the web, we've gone off and done that for time series data. Mm -hmm. That's the problem we're out to solve. So if a customer comes to us and says, you know, I have you know several terabytes of data that we need to index, we could, in theory, take our stack and deploy it onto an appliance for them or you know, into a virtual appliance in their data center and be able to handle that. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going with this. That's the vision. So that's the vision. Can you <coughs> tell a bit about when did you start logging? Uh, so Logly, we're almost two years old. Two years old, right? Yeah. So we're kind of, uh, can you point out some key milestones out of these two years? And then, sure. especially while we're talking about vision, kind of, you know, what's the next milestone you're, you're hitting? That was a good, good question. Um, so we were funded by True Ventures and um, December, so almost two, two years ago, December of 09, mm -hmm. uh, we, we did a little A round with them. We did a little B round with uh, Trinity uh, Ventures. So we have Trinity and True, the two T's, that are invested in Logly. We absolutely love both those companies. They're fantastic. Mm -hmm. Got great companies that are also, we're part of that ecosystem now, work with them closely. Um, and uh, we got our first office last last June, so we've actually had an, an office and, and employees working here since uh, for over a year, year now. Yeah, a um, bit, bit more than a year. A bit more than a year, and we launched uh, the paid services last February, for this, 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 this year, of this year. Okay. So we've been kicking it for about seven months now. Um, was that was that beta or that was uh, first freemium and then you went paid or we had an early beta in late in November of last year that okay. we had a few people get on so okay. a few a few about well, a thousand people okay so uh, we're over uh, three thousand users now mm -hmm. so um, we've certainly continued to accelerate the number of people signing up so but we've had uh, paid services out now for about seven seven eight months. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing you know seeing an uptick in the number of users using it and what the use cases that they're using it for we've gotten some interesting customers along the way so uh, some of those are on our website and we've got you know can, can you mention yeah something? we've got like EA uses us yeah um, we've got uh, guys like the Washington Post uh, Sony music so those guys are using us for application logging mm -hmm. and so um, you know we've seen definitely seen a change in the way people think of us. So where at the beginning it was just like, oh, system logs. We've, you know, we, we continue to work the application logging space. We, you know, that market in writing custom web apps and actually logging out of those apps. We're helping to encourage people to do that through the API, the APIs that we have and the SDKs that we have on the site that are all open source. So people can actually log straight out of their applications to us. So we see 
companies starting to see us as an application logging framework, a place that they can actually go do application analytics. So it's almost like Google Analytics, a step above Google Analytics. What, did, what button did somebody click on or did somebody up. change a slider somewhere, right? You yeah. can see that in the logs if you instrument correctly for it. And I think one, one topic before we come to what's in the future milestone um, <coughs> that I just want to um, put into here is um, briefly before we mentioned about a platform as a service aspect as well, right? That you're kind of opening up um, Logly to be able to have third party uh, right. actually developing on the platform and provide that necessary um, features and value add that you couldn't do yourself. Right, right. right. Yeah, kind of the argument here is, is that we're doing the base baseline use case, which is get all your stuff in one spot, put an index on it, provide some authentication around it. That thing has to be invented over and over again. You go do Google Analytics, that's what you have to do. Uh, you go do uh, you know some sort of security play, that's what you have to do, you have to go to the lock. So we're, we're doing that really well and building it as a platform. And when we look at the app layer, the apps that are written is where the logic plays. So if, if somebody comes along and wants to build a web analytics or application analytics application, they take the knowledge that they have about that space and apply mm -hmm. it to that, sure. but then use us as the platform to yeah. pull it off. So they don't have to go reinvent the wheel underneath, right? Yeah. They just build it on top of us, deploy it, sell it. Uh, we get the logs, we get the customer sending us the logs. The customer can send us logs for multiple use cases so they could be buying three or four applications for that. Uh, really, you, you asking about the future, that really is the future for yeah. us. To continue okay. building that out, continue mm -hmm. building out our job pipeline, being able to let people run recurring jobs at, at intervals to be able to roll up the data that's coming in. A lot of customers send us a lot of data. We have customers sending us in excess of 12 gigabytes a day of data just for a single, single user. And that data in aggregate is useful, but it's really looking at slices of that being able to pull out relevant yeah. bits, yeah. being able to pull out what I call the gold out of the out of the onslaught of data, pull out those gold nuggets, and then use those to be able to you know, do uh, forecasting, sales, you know, analysis. Uh, you know, how did someone use my app? Pull those out and be able to show them in a dashboard. So we're continuing to work on that on that pipeline. But one of the first parts of that was actually launching a product that we're calling AlertBirds. Yeah. which does alerting. So it's application availability monitoring. Mm -hmm. But you can also do things like uh, set up some woot lights with it with uh, on sign up. So if somebody signs up on our website, and I have a set of woot lights that sit on my desk that, that, that are triggered by the uh, arrival of someone signing up mm -hmm. on our website. So, so that was a feature you, you recently launched, right? The we're getting ready to launch it, actually. You, so launch we, it. Okay. we launched a small uh, private beta of it yesterday. Okay. And we've got a few couple people on trial, and by the time uh, your your video hits, then we'll be we'll, we'll be fully <laughs> we'll open be on that. We'll be yeah. shortly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, interesting. So, I mean, we had um, platform as a service as kind of an, a direction where to go to. Um, is are there other directions that kind of are next milestones or directions that you're you're focusing with Lovely? So, a big play for us is is partners. So, partners yeah. in the pass space and in the SaaS space. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, with uh, infrastructure as a service, people, you know, providers like Rackspace and Amazon and Joyent of the world, those customers primarily manage their own servers. So we get them as customers anyway. So partnering with those guys works, and we have done that. We're, we're an ISP partner with Amazon. Partnering with companies like Heroku as a pass service, those guys don't have anywhere to put their logs. They don't have their own server to run on, so they rely on Heroku to pass those logs to us. So we just partnered, and it was just announced on Wednesday, that we we uh, wrote an add-on for, for Heroku. So we're an add-on provider for Heroku yeah. now, right? Okay. And that allows Heroku's customers to send logs to us. And uh, it's working great. I mean, they, people seem to love it. I mean, really, for application developers using that, it's a real value. So we're the plan is to continue doing that with other with other partners. So we're going to go after other past services and also after all the SaaS services that generate logs for customers as well, and start to build applications on the platform to be able to do reporting out of all of those other services. Mm -hmm. Really, it's, we want to be the hub of all of this yeah. uh, event data coming out of all the systems. I like that. I like that. Um, can you say briefly something about the uh, your business model? Yeah. So we um, we have a couple little sliders on the website. 
Uh, you run the sliders up and down depending on what the volume of log data that you generate per day that you yeah. need to send us. By the way, I have another slider that determines how long we keep that data for you. Uh, archival log data optionally can be stored forever in your in your own S3 bucket. So we will write to your S3 bucket for you, and you can keep that data as long as you like. You manage the retention on that. Okay. So those logs can be retained in that. So that's unlimited. That's unlimited. Okay. Uh, of course, the customer pays for that. Yeah, you pay it. Because it's their bucket, right? Yeah. Uh, but we also store copies of it in our bucket for backups. So in okay. case we need to recover those for the customer, we can. But those two sliders determine the pricing structure okay. of Logly. Okay. We don't charge for any other features, but we do charge, we'll be charging for, uh, obviously, apps. So apps like Lurpers will eventually have a price associated with them. Currently, it's in, it's in free beta. So. Yeah, excellent. Well, good. Thank you so much. Thank Before you. I, that was excellent. Yeah, I appreciate so it. All the best. Glad you came by. Thank you. Cheers. See you again later.